YouTube, what's going on? It's your boy Jake back with another video review, man. And you already know what it is. It is the Air Jordan 5 Moonlight, or what we call Oreo. Oreo, a classic shoe here. Of course, this is a standalone video of the third party rendition of this shoe. Third party factory. There you go, Air Jordan 5 Retro. You see it there. White box, I mean not white box, black box. The speckles, white jump man, black box. I'm a little tired, I'm a little, a little, a little upset man. My, my Niners lost, I was watching the football game. So my 49ers lost man, at last second. Shout out to Aaron Rodgers man, did his thing. All right, so let's pull these bad boys out. So, what's my story on this shoe here? Okay, there's no, okay, there's the YDM sticker here. And no QC from what I see or no stamp. So we're gonna put this shoe here. All right, we're gonna put the box there. All right, so before I talk about this shoe, uh, I did get a W on the sneakers app. So fret not, there will be a real fake on these. But looking at this shoe already, they've done a lot of improvements, a lot of the things that I've been pointing out on these shoes, it looks like, on the fives, it looks like they're fixed. They have fixed, like, for instance, look at that toe box. You see that? Usually it'd be toe box mud guard area, it would be more of a boot cut, and they gave it that slant. Let me take a look at this air unit, and I tell you what, oh, mm. That's one of the clearer air units I've seen. I might see a spot or two in there, but that's one of the better units I've seen, air units that I've seen. I'm gonna check all both of them out. Yeah, man, these things looking pretty good. They've improved on some things. Definitely, definitely improved. Even the tongue, so all right. So, all right. There was a lot of hype behind this shoe. Shoe hasn't been out since I think 06. And uh, they finally released it, and there was a lot of hype, but then all the hype disappeared because Nike, you know, they let a lot of people eat, man. They made a lot of pairs of these shoes, and a lot of people got them, and now the hype is like kind of dead because everybody got them. So I don't understand the sneaker community. It's like, it's, it's so, you know, the hypocrisy is pretty weird because if everybody gets a pair of shoes, then there's... It's a it's it's not a good shoe, but when it's limited, and they get they complain that Nike didn't make enough shoes, and they're forced to go across that water to get a shoe. I don't understand the logic sometimes with the sneaker community, but it's weird. I was able to get a, a retail pair, uh, my size, and a pair for my son. So, let's get on with the review on this shoe here. So, let's take a look at the Jumpman. A little wobbly. He always has the club foot. Weird head shape, icy bottom. We have the Oreo speckles on the shark teeth, right? We have the, uh, I wouldn't call it translucent, but it's like a, you know, clear plastic, the uh, foggy color, uh, uh, netting. I'm sorry, I'm stumbling over my words. We got the clear lace lock. Great jump, man. We have the new school shoe tree, 12, 12 and a half. They got that right. Doesn't say anything die cut or molded sock liner. We have the Air Jordan. We have the black insole with the white jump man. Let's pull out. Boom, boom. If I can, if it's not glued in, the insole. Boom, boom. Listen, this shoe's made pretty well. I can give you that. We have the jump man in the rear. Will I black like this? No, real fake, definitely. Right now, we're taking a look at this shoe. And uh, basically this is what, this is what's out there. This is what's out there. This is what the third party factories are putting out. So, 
if you were one of the ones that didn't eat and you want to go to your local sneaker plug, watch out because <laughs> these things are right. These things are right. They did a heck of a job. So I can't wait to compare this to the retail pair, man. They, they've done an excellent job with this shoe. The boys are getting better. Let's take a look at that. No lean. Everything seems to be all right on the shoe. Material feels good. Is one tongue higher than the other? We'll see. What's your take on the Air Jordan 5 Oreo? It's a nice shoe, man. It's a really nice shoe. And I'll tell you guys now, these what I'm gonna be rocking, my retail pairs, you know what I'm you know what I do. The thing gonna be on ice. Believe that. So, like I said, what's your take on this Air Jordan 5 Moonlight slash Oreo? Did you cop? Were you able to eat on the sneakers app or any other app? I seen uh, I know one one of my homeboys uh, got it on Dick Sporting Goods. You know what I mean? I didn't check on foot locker and foot action and stuff like that, but it looks like everyone was able to eat, man. So that's pretty good. Hey, it's your boy Jake signing out, man. Like, comment, share, subscribe. Help your boy Jake get to 10,000 subscribers. I'm about 70 or maybe 60 some odd people away from 10K, man. So like I said, appreciate y'all. Appreciate y'all for sticking with me all this time. Just watching my hands, reviewing shoes for y'all, man. Appreciate y'all from the bottom of my heart. It's your boy Jake signing out. Don't forget to hit that notification bell.